Mehrun's razor, the instrument of ambition, change, and destruction from Mehrun's Dagon himself. Words spoken by Mehrun's Dagon to the Nerevarine. You found my razor. Good. Can you feel its hunger? Can you feel its frustration? Now, I will make it again what it once was, what it shall always be. Draw a line of blood across the land in the name of Mehrun's Dagon. So I got a lot of work done on Mehrun's razor so far. There's a, a lot of layer lines that are still visible that I actually want to try to go back and sand down, maybe put a little bit of like a bondo or something inside of it, see if that helps out at all. Then I want to actually stipple the middle to give it some more texture and uh, see where we get from there. A small weapon for such an imposing Daedra, but made so in the effect of creating change and unrest in Tamriel wherever it chooses to find a wielder. The most notable times in history the Razor has shown itself. Third Era 405 given as a reward to the hero of Daggerfall for felling a Frost Daedra. Years later, recovered in a decayed state by the Nerevarine, then restored by Mehrun's Dagon. Third Era, 433. The champion of Mehrun's Dagon, Mizrae Faithun, wielder of the blade, failed Dagon and was entombed in Sundercliff Watch, until both were found by the champion of Cyrodiil. Fourth Era, 201. The last known whereabouts of the Razor, in the possession of the Dragonborn, after recovering the pieces of the blade with information from the cult historian Silas Vesuvius, having them remade via dark ritual befitting Mehrun's Dagon, Silas's museum went empty as he was not seen from again. Unlike the artifacts of other Daedra, the Razor has only one reason to be pulled from its sheath, to kill and do so quickly and quietly. The Dark Brotherhood, legendary assassins have coveted the blade due to its nature of killing in one strike, no matter the foe. No matter the next place the razor shows itself, it will be to a wielder of great power and the will to change the world. <laughs>